My name is Wes from the Q Design team, and today I'll be showing you how to set up Google Maps for your website. If you're using a theme or a plugin, you might be encountering this issue where it says for development purposes only when you've got the, the uh, Google, Google Maps added. So we're just going to walk through how you can fix that problem. The issue is that you'll need a, an API key which you have to generate from Google and add your billing details. Now we've been using Google Maps for years and years and even though we have our billing details added, we've never been charged anything because the volume of use is just so low. So I wouldn't be worried about getting billed for using Google Maps on your website. For this example, we're using the salient theme. Um, so we need to get the Google Maps API key here. Um, normally I always just get someone else to do this because I just hate the interface of the uh, Google Cloud setup console. But today we're going to create the video, so let's go for it. We've asked, I've asked ChatGPT just to give me instructions. So let's fire away and um, set this up. So, right, we want to create a new map. So we already created one here, but uh, so we'll go through the settings. So signed into your Google Cloud account. We want to create a click the project drop down top bar new project so here new project we haven't got an organization but i don't think that's a problem so that has now been created or creating up here excellent so that is first step, what we've done. Um, enable billing if you haven't already done so. So you need to add billing to the website. You've got this box down here, so just click billing and then you can enter your details, your car details. Um, we've already done that step. I just click billing here and go through the process. Uh, and now we need to enable maps APIs. Go to this window. I'll add all these links into the um, description below with a link maybe to this chat GPT. So we need to enable this as per the instructions. You know, it's now and again I have to switch the account. It's just because this is a clean account without Google Maps set up. So there you go. Uh, you're all set to develop. Here's the API key. Excellent. So click this. This is the API key we needed. Stick that in there. Okay, I think that could be it. There's more steps here, but um, do the same for these three. Okay, let's look for websites. So you need your website address. So this is just restricting your API key, so it can only be used on your website, so someone can't pinch it and then um, rack up loads of costs using it on their own website. So that's, so this would be the next step, which is um, we need to enable some more APIs, right, for geocoding and places. If you want to auto-complete or place details, if you need to address lookup, we don't actually need these two for my website, I don't think. So let's just see if that loads up now. No. Didn't load. Let's take a look. Maybe we need to enable the rest of these APIs.
So the map still isn't showing for some reason. So let's just follow these instructions anyway. So we've enabled, do the same for these three. I don't think I need those two, uh, but we'll have a little look. Make sure we're in the right account. So maps. Looks all the main um, items we need are set up. So let's go create an API key just in case that wasn't the correct one we chose earlier on. So uh, APIs and services, that's where we are. Credentials. My eyes bleed looking at um, Google Cloud. There's just like so much information all over the place. I don't know what where I'm looking for it. So I managed to get, to get back to this page basically. And then if you click dashboard, then this pops up in the left hand side. And then you got API APIs and services, and then you've got um, credentials here. And then, in fact, it did create um, the API key at the beginning, like I showed you. So if you click that, you can see this is all set up. This was the settings we put in earlier. Restrict API. And it's just got the maps there, which is, uh, that's all we want to use. You say don't restrict, or you can restrict it. We only want to use the map, so that's that's fine. That's what we want to do. Um, and then we've got enabled APIs. Here. Restrict the API key in the same area, edit API. Yep, we got the website, that's what we did at the pop up at the beginning. Add the API to WordPress, so that's what we've done. Okay, so we've done all of that correctly and it's not showing, so let's figure out why it's not showing. Let's copy that and I'll try to repeat it. So we can just take a screenshot of this and then provide it to ChatGPT to take a look at. It says so uh, we just sent ChatGPT the screenshot. And it tells us what the issue is. Google Maps API error. This, this means your URL is not added correctly to the API keys. So we need to go do this again. So go to the API. So we go to... Yep. Something about this, which we've done wrong. Application restrictions. Should prefer as well as that. Right here. So let's copy these. Adam, of course, you can see more details here on the right hand side. How to add domain names. So let's add that in. And the second one has www. Let's save that. It says it may take a few minutes for that to take effect, so let's see. So it 
So we're at a few minutes since we've uh, made the updates to the to the API. And now we can check out see if it works. So we go to the contact page. And now it's working. Perfect. So we've successfully created um, an account with Google Cloud, added our billing details, and then generated the API key and set up the restrictions for it to work on our website. So like I was saying earlier, we've had Google Maps on a lot of our websites for a number of years now and we've never been billed anything for it. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Just make sure you set up the restrictions just so it can be used on your own personal website. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you've got any questions, just drop me a message in the comments below and I'll be glad to try to help you. If you could like and, like and subscribe to our channel, it'd be amazing. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon.